Kirby sucks. You see, once upon a time in Smash 64, Kirby was overpowered. How, you may ask? Well, that and other things. But the pink monster being top tier came at a cost. Sakurai vowed to never again let his child have all that power, and the cursed pink puff to never again be good. When Smash Ultimate first came out, Sakurai blessed his child with the role of being the best character by killing everyone else in the cast with lasers. But the other developers of Smash Ultimate didn't agree to this, so they brought everyone back and made Kirby bad again. For the rest of Ultimate, Kirby has been back in the bottom of the tier list until finally Sakurai brought his hands into the sky and dropped the patch. How good is Kirby? Well... Kirby is one of those characters that almost every new player tries to pick up. You know, the guy who just spams up beyond the stage, dash attacks all over the floor, and uses the down special move whenever in the air. In the upper levels of Smash, there aren't any notable Kirby mains. The one you may know is the Amazing Verdius, and as well as Ice Killer. But who cares about competitive play? We are in the upper levels, with all those pro players and other people. We're better than that. We're gamers. But let's go over what this little guy can do. Kirby isn't from Fire Emblem. Therefore, he doesn't have any range, as you can see with his tiny little nubs. That means he's gonna struggle to really get in, but when he does, Kirby can really get in some nice damage. By far, your best tool to use with Kirby is his down tool. This little kick may look like nothing, but this move is like a Swiss Army knife. A Swiss Kirby knife. What does it do? Well, does it help you secure stocks? Remind players what Raw was known for? Dark combos? Jabla? Make newer Kirby games better? Uh, I'm not lying when I say that this move is good. This is by far and even arguably one of the best tilts in the game and will be what you're relying on for almost everything. Another great move that Kirby has is his up tilt. Now, it isn't the very balanced version like in Smash 64, but it's still good. You can use it to link into itself at lower percents and can link into some air attacks as well. My favorite thing to do is just to mash up tilt. Wow, you're pretty good at this. For some reason, when you turn your brain off and hit your up tilt button, your opponent just can't deal with it. But there is something great you can do that requires the use of up tilt. The amazing combo that was dubbed Kirby's Dare Ride. How does it work? Well, it seems simple. Up tilt facing your opponent, jump, then use down air, and then up tilt again, jump, then use down air, in which you can end with a well-placed down tilt. Simple, right? Nope. This combo is much harder than it seems. For once, depending on which hit of the up tilt you get your opponent with, you have to time the down air differently. Also, the down air timing is a hair pull. You have to fast go right after the last hit of the down air comes out. Time it too early, and you'll get the landing hitbox which ruins the combo. Do it too late, your up tilt won't be able to land in the next rotation. The down airs must be done perfectly for each time you go for the cycle, so there is no room for error in completing it. I spent almost an hour and 30 minutes straight trying to pull off this combo in training mode. If you want to see a more in-depth video on how to do this, I suggest watching this video. Speaking of aerials, Kirby has some pretty solid ones that receive some buffs. You have your neutral air and down air, and the powerful back air, but the one that is used a lot is his forward aerial. It's a nice spin kick that you use for combos and edgeguarding. Much like your down tilt, this is one of your core moves that will be one of your main tools to be using against your opponent. This move can really piss people off. Some characters just can't deal with it, and when used offstage can simply just do nothing but beat Kirby feet. Another great thing with it is that you can fastball to only get one hit, which can lead into an F smash to take a stock as a kill confirm. Kirby's throws are good. Unlike in melee, your opponent just can't jump out of your forward and back throw. Back and down throw are just used to get your opponent offstage, but your forward throw is for early combos combined with your forward air. Up throw is used to take stocks at high percents with a nice RKO, but can be used for something cheeky if you're playing with a team. You see, when a character in Smash Ultimate performs a throw, they are unable to be hit during their animation. This is commonly referred to as grab armor. 
Now tell your snake friend to stick a C4 on your adorable little face and run up to your opponent and grab them and quickly do an up throw. You need to do this fast because if the C4 goes to your opponent and sticks onto them, you'll both die. If you do this right, it'll look something like this. It's the easiest way to do this in doubles, but it is possible to be done in singles and because any damage done during the up throw incurs knockback. So you can pull off really crazy stuff like... Good choice to roll on stage oh, there. What? No way! Whoa. No way! That actually happened! Now, let's talk about his signature move. Inhale. His copy ability. We all know the cheese with this inhale by going near the edge of the stage and inhaling your opponent, but let's actually talk about what more it can do. Like any person's dream in life, Kirby can eat anything without suffering much repercussions. But what most people know it for is the copy ability. By copying your opponent's ability and looking fabulous sometimes. To make this nice, here's my top 5 copy abilities for how Kirby looks. And here's my top 5 copy abilities for actual usefulness. Also, you can use your teammate as ammunition and shoot them out like a cannon towards the enemy. And here's a little known fact about Kirby's inhale and spit ability. The distance that you spit your opponent out is judged by the percent difference between you and your opponent. So if your opponent is at a much higher percent than you, then you will launch them super far. So, if for some reason you get them at insanely high percents, you can witness some um, very funny things like... Smash attacks for Kirby are actually very good. They hit hard, and the most recent buffs help them out a lot. They aren't Ganon level strong, but they get the job done. If Kirby has all these great things, then why isn't he getting the respect he deserves? Well, among being the light as a feather and lacking rage, Kirby's downfall is one of the core mechanics in his games. That's right, his jump. Or should I say, jumps. On paper, having multiple jumps would be a really good thing. Being able to stay in the air more and also having more room to recover is good, but one stat is holding the puff ball back. Air speed. Kirby has the fifth slowest air speed, which is not good in combination for lack of range, making it difficult to approach his opponent. I wasn't kidding about Fire Emblem. Swords make Kirby go bye bye. Also, Kirby's recovery is easily exploitable. You can do your best to make it tricky for your opponent to predict when you're going to recover, but if you don't perfectly space your up special, or perfectly time when you're going to snap to ledge, you're easy pickings for an idiot. It just feels like that Kirby was too strong in his games and they had to tone back his power. I mean, this guy defeated monsters and villains, held even something the size of a planet! And that's it. Kirby may not be your top tier like Joku or Pikachu, but he still has some strengths and is a blast to play. Hope you enjoyed a different kind of video and let me know who you want to see next. And to end on the question, Kirby swallowed you, what special ability would you get? I would get depression, and you can't say that because that's my ability. Peace out.